What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview. And we have the return of Roger Federer this week at the Geneva Open. First time we're seeing him on the clay in almost two years. It's a big tournament, but some players have pulled out. Let's go look at the withdrawals. Okay, taking a look at the withdrawals, we have Bublik. He's pulled out. Chorich, Vakina, Dimonor, Krajanovic, and Struff has also pulled out of this one. All right, taking a look at the top half of the draw, and there he is, the number one seed. Roger Federer getting a bye in the first round. Top four seeds get a bye in the first round in this one. He'll play the winner of Thompson versus Andujar. We're going at it in the first round. Then we have Cilic versus the wildcard Stricker. Winner of that's going to play either Fucevic or the number five seed Garen in the second round. Then we have the number three seed Kasper Rudd. He gets a bye in the first round. He'll await the winner of Sangren versus Caruso, who are playing in the first round. Then we have Lopez versus a qualifier. Winner of that will take on the winner of Kopfa and the number seven seed Pear. Like I said, the first time we're seeing Federer on clay for almost two years, and it's not an easy road. There are some tough players is for him. Christian Garin, we know he can play on clay. Fucevic, also a dangerous player. Kasper Rudd, the number three seed. He's been in some great form on the clay in the last 12 months. The players to watch out for, obviously, we're watching for Federer. Kasper Rudd as well. Like I said, Fucevic and Garin, those two players are very, very dangerous on clay and could be meeting Federer in the quarterfinals, so watch out for them. Bottom half of the draw now, we've got the number eight seed, Manorino. He takes on the wild card, Kazo in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Riley Opelka, who had a great week in Rome last week. So he's in a little bit of form. Then we have Fernando Vadasco. He takes on a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that match takes on the number four seed, Dimitrov, in the second round. Then we have the number six seed, Fanini, taking on Pella. Winner of that takes on the winner of Montero and Gera in the second round. Then we have Travalia versus a qualifier. Winner of that takes on number two seed, Denis Shapovalov. So the players to watch out for in this one, obviously you gotta watch out for Shapo. Almost beat Rafa last week in Rome. Had a couple of match points. Couldn't get the job done, but he is in some form. Also keep an eye on Opelka. Had a great week last week in Rome on the clay, so proving that he can play on clay courts. And I'm also interested to see how Fanini does because over the last few weeks, he's dropped in the rankings, but a small tournament like this is made for someone like Fanini. So interested to see how he does this week. So there it is, the Geneva Open, the return of Roger Federer on clay. First time in almost two years. Let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win this one and how well do you think Federer is going to do? He's got a pretty tough draw. Some really good informed clay court players with Garen, Fucevic, Rud, not to mention Shapovalov and even maybe Opelka as well, who's on the bottom half of the draw. So let me know down in the comments below, who are you picking to win this one? So Having a look at the draw, it's kind of hard to pick Roger Federer at this one because, like I said, some tough players in his part of the draw. So I'm going to go with the number three seed, Rudd. I feel like he's been the most informed player over the last couple of months on the clay courts. And he's got a pretty good draw. He doesn't have to worry about anyone really until probably the semifinals where he might play Federer or Garin. So I'm going to go with Kasper Rudd to win this one. Again, let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win Geneva? So Federer, he's back next week in Geneva. How well is he going to do?